guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I have a spring makeup tutorial I want to film makeup that was really light and airy and pretty and like wearable for every day and spring is here so this is the look I went for today it's just really pretty and like pinky and purpley but like really light so there's no like harsh dark colors I just kept it very like neutral looking so colorful but wearable that's what I was going for so if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it also remember to check out all my social media links they're always linked down below in the description box and if you like to see how I achieve this light airy springtime look then just keep watching so first I'm starting off with my Neutrogena ultra sheer face sunscreen and applying this all over my face and then rubbing it into my skin to let it absorb next I'm going to moisturize my skin with my Aveeno positively radiant daily moisturizer Moving on to eyes, I'm going to prime my eyes using the Laura Mercier Eye Brights Eye Primer and just apply this all over my lid and then blend it in. And this is a blue color which really helps to brighten up the area and give a nice base for your shadows. To set my eye primer, I'm taking the two lightest shades in the Tartlet In Bloom palette and just placing it all over my lids. For my eyeshadow look today, I'm going into the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics and starting off with a light brown color for my transition shade and placing this just in my crease and bringing it up a little bit as well. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous light pink shade and placing it in my crease and blending it up towards my transition shade. And to finish off my crease colors, I'm going in with this bright purple. Here I'm just going in with a Morphe blending brush and making sure that all the colors are blended on the edges. For my lid shade, I'm taking this shimmery pink champagne color and spraying it with the Makeup Forever setting spray in order to make it tacky and show up a little bit better and I'm just placing this all over my eyelid. Next I'm taking my really old Kat Von D ink liner and doing my wings and then going right in with my primer which is the NYX Angel Veil and just placing this all over my face and rubbing it in. For my foundation I'm taking the Maybelline 24 hour foundation in number 102 Fair Porcelain and I'm just dotting this all over my face. I'm also taking the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Foundation in the color Ivory. And I'm just dotting this around my face as well because I really like the combination of these two foundations, but the CoverGirl Foundation doesn't come in a shade light enough for me, so you girls gotta mix. And I'm taking my Eco Tool sponge and just blending this in. For concealer, I'm taking the You Already Know Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the color Fair. It is my go-to. I just stocked up on the sale that Tarte had on their website, so I'm good to go for the next 1,200 years.
To set my face today, I'm taking the original RCMA No Color Powder and just putting this all over my face. I'm filling in my eyebrows with the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer and I believe this is in the color Dark Brown or Dark Brunette. I'm also dipping back into the Tartlet in Bloom palette in this dark brown color here to fill in my brows a little bit more so that they match my hair color. And I'm taking the Essence Lash and Brow Gel to set these bad boys in place. Next up is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just applying this all over my face pretty much. So on my cheekbones but kind of messily and then up towards my like hairline and my forehead. To contour, I'm using the Light to Medium Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm taking this middle shade here and just placing it in my cheekbones. And I'm just taking my powder brush from earlier and blending in my contour so it looks a little bit more natural. And with some of that translucent powder, I'm also going to bake my contour line as well to brighten up the area below and give it more of a like sharper looking line, more of a defined look if you may. So while my face is cooking, I'm taking this Rimmel Nude Eyeliner and placing it in the waterline of my eyes. And I'm taking the three crease shades that I used earlier and placing them on my lower lash line. Not really in any order, but just kind of messily. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara, which will be the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara, and I'll just apply those to my upper lashes, and I usually do about two coats. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curve Mascara and applying this to my lower lashes. And back into the contour kit, I go with the lightest shade here and blending out the big underneath my cheekbones. Next, I'm taking the Kiko blushes and I'm going to use the lightest color, the light pink, and apply this to my cheeks. And for highlight today, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the pink color and applying this to my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and kind of just any other place I feel like highlighting, TBH. I'm lining my lips with the Essence Lip Liner in number 11. And I'm using this L'Oreal J.Lo lipstick in the color Jennifer's Nude and I'm placing this all over my lips, obviously. I don't know where else I would place this, but okay, Amelia, cool.
And to finish off my lips, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And I'm setting my face with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix to finish off my spring makeup look. This is the completed look, even though you've already seen it. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!